Right now at 11 o'clock, a convicted cop killer is hoping for another chance to appeal his case. As Mumia Abu-Jamal gets ready for another court hearing, some are worried about the outcome this time around. Good evening, everyone. I'm Natasha Brown. Thank you so much for joining us in the 36 years since Abu-Jamal's conviction. And this will be the first hearing with Larry Krasner as district attorney. Philadelphia police officer Daniel Faulkner was gunned down near 13th and Locust back in 1981. Former Black Panther Mumia Abu-Jamal was convicted of his murder the following year. Abu-Jamal has maintained his innocence, arguing that his conviction was based on racism. Eyewitness News reporter Shante Lands is in the CBS3 Sat Center tonight with the latest developments in the case. Shante. Well, Natasha, District Attorney Larry Krasner is taking a new approach to Philadelphia justice. Since taking office in January, Krasner told Eyewitness News he's been he's seen prison populations decline and he'd like to keep it that way. That's why some are worried about the outcome of tomorrow's hearing. Mumia Abul-Jamal serving life in prison for the 1981 murder of Philadelphia police officer Daniel Faulkner is expected to appear in court on Monday. A 64-year-old convicted killer has petitioned newly elected district attorney Larry Krasner to vacate his previously failed attempts at appeals, which would allow him to reappeal his case. The Post-Conviction Relief Act petition cites bias and conflict of interest. Retired state Supreme Court Judge Ron Castile was the same judge that denied Abu Jamal's appeals and was also the senior assistant DA during his trial. They still keep finding loopholes to get him out of prison. It makes the family and I more and more distraught. In a sit-down interview with Eyewitness News ahead of the hearing, Officer Faulkner's widow, Maureen Faulkner, says she wants the DA, a former defense attorney, to remember the pain she's endured for 37 years. In my heart, I hope he changes his ways and that he realizes he is the district attorney now and he's out to protect the survivors of crime, of violent crime and put the people that have harmed them in prison. District Attorney Larry Krasner spoke out to CBS3 ahead of Abu Jamal's hearing. There is going to be a hearing on Monday and our position will be announced at that point. Abu Jamal has maintained his innocence and has become a symbol for groups seeking criminal justice reform. I have a belief that with constant pressure, consistent pressure, that those running this system are going to have to back off from Mumia and release him, release him and acknowledge his innocence. I'm hoping Judge Tucker tomorrow will do the right thing and dismiss this case. And Abu Jamal had previously been sentenced to death, but that has since been changed to life in prison without parole. Live in the SAT Center, Shante Lands, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Natasha. All right, thank you so much.